Hi there. Uh, I'd like to show you how to change some of the appearance of the calendar, maybe to make it look more like your own file or just to change the way it looks to suit your needs. Um, and we do that over in settings and administrator settings. So you can only get here if you're one of the administrators of your Dayback group. But once you're here, if you come down to colors, fonts, and CSS, you'll see kind of a, a blank canvas for overriding the default CSS that's here. So what might we use that for? So I want to give you an example of how we use this and then how we find out the classes that we want to edit. Because all of this interface is described with classes, like there's a class for this sidebar and it's described with this gray fade. I just, I don't know what that class is called. So I want to kind of examine the file I'm using or examine this web page to find out what that class is and then change it. So here's how I do it. We're going to do this in Chrome, but it's really similar to doing it in Safari. And this will show you how to get at any element in the CSS here and change it. So what I'm going to do is begin by right clicking uh, on the object I want to modify and select inspect element. And it often gives you something kind of nested within what you're looking for. So in this case, you can see as I hover over here, it's picked out this horizontal row, which isn't the thing I want to style. It's within the thing I want to style. So I'm going to kind of walk up the tree here. And eventually as I walk up and I'll kind of scroll up, I'll get things that start to get bigger. And eventually something that starts to look like it's the whole, it's the whole thing. So when I overview on the, when I hover over this overview here, it looks like the whole thing. But when I look over here, I don't see any gray fade. So I must not have got it. It must be the one above it, maybe the one above that, maybe the one above that. What about above that? There we go. So it's this top one in the class is called DBK sidebar. So that's great. So that's what I'm going to change. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and paste in DBK sidebar and then some change down here. So well, what's, what do we want that change to be? So let's come back over here. So the neat thing about this is that I can experiment right here. So let's say I grab this uh, this RGB color and I say, you know, this is a little too gray for me. Our system's a bit more blue That looks pretty good and I can kind of hover around here until I get a blue that I that I like and I, I like this one very much That's pretty cool. So once I've done that and I can keep adjusting here. I'm just gonna select this whole thing and copy it Now there's an intentional simplification in this video. You see this background is described four times. These are different vendor prefixes for different browsers. And I've really only changed the one I'm using for Chrome. So you can see how this um, RGB uh, 76, RGBA 76 here, that would need to get, this 84 would need to get changed, this uh, 84 would need to get changed, and this one would need to get changed. So to get this done for all the other browsers, I would do a little more text manipulation, but show you what, how we normally do this. I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and before I do it, I'm going to undo my changes over here. So you can see this goes back to gray. And then I'm going to paste the change in here. And you can see that immediately before I even save it, the change picks up. And I can go back to the calendar and p preview that and see if that looks good everywhere else. Can I still read my mini calendars? Yeah. All right. That's not bad. I like it. So then I can come back to administrator settings and to CSS and click save. And now it is changed for my group and the next time I come to the calendar it'll look like this and when anybody else in my calendar reloads their page either by hitting refresh in their browser or kind of right clicking here and hitting reload they'll they'll get this color change so that's the way we normally do it we kind of inspect an element find out what's going on with it play with it over here to get its color right and then paste the change in here there are a few other things you can do too and some of them are documented in our uh, our CSS docs over here so I'm just going to click on this little question mark and come to these docs. We're, we're adding a lot of examples right now, but I just want to show you a few of them down here, like remove the delete button. So let me copy this string out of here and come back to the calendar. So if we go back to the calendar and I click on an event, you'll see we have this little delete button down here. So let's go back to CSS. I wanted to show you this because we can use CSS for things besides changing appearance. We can actually pull stuff by using the display none tag. So once I put this in here, again, I don't have to hit save. I can come back to the calendar, see if that's what I want. Yep, looks like it. Pretty cool. And then I can come back to administrator settings, uh, CSS, and hit save. And now none of my events in the calendar will have the delete button, which is kind of cool. So um, if you want to undo all your changes, obviously, you just come back to CSS here, grab this whole thing, hit delete, hit save, takes this away, brings the delete button back. I think you'll find this a great way to come in here and modify um, the appearance of this. And if you head over to our documentation um, for editing the calendar's appearance, which you get to just by clicking on this little question mark, we'll have some examples of how we like to do this and um, 
how we like to do it in third-party editors because sometimes you have some more tools if you you know bring this text into a, a, a real uh, CSS editor like Sublime or something. So uh, I hope that helps. Thanks.